Today, we're going to keep going through the settings, focusing on the membership settings. Here, we can see and change some of the fields that appear on household and member information screens. Let's first go to roles and statuses. Here, you can add and edit the possible roles that an individual might play in their own family. Some of the examples are roles like head of household, spouse, child, or grandchild. We can also add an unknown role. Under that are the statuses that members and households can play in your church. For example, an individual might have the status of being a member, being a former member, or being a regular attender, while a household might have the more general status of being active or inactive, or even something like being a host home for church events. In addition to the roles and statuses, we can also add fields to record significant dates in the lives of members and households. You might want to track a member's birthday or date of baptism, while tracking a household's date of joining the church, or of the wedding anniversary of the parents. These dates can be used to sort members into groups, so you might want to use this setting to get started making a list of people's birthdays. For more information on lists and member reports based on information connected to these settings, head over to the video catalog and check out the upcoming video on member reports. This has been how you use the membership tab under settings to both add and edit some of the roles, statuses, and significant dates that can help you to know and to track your members and visitors in personal ways that are unique to them and their families. As always, I hope God continues to bless your ministry, and if you have any questions, we're available to help.